welcome to day three. And in the last video I said it was day three when it wasn't day three. It was actually day two. <sighs> okay, same goal. Hit the 7-Elevens, hit the railroad tracks. I guess my hopes were this adventure today to get rid of all my food. consider or what I would consider you know the stereotypical malnourished is somebody who's skinny and and frail but you can be mal malnourished and have and be a little fat or chunky or something like that because you can be eating a lot of junk food and that's one thing I noticed too is that there's a lot of access to food here but it's all junk food so that's why I'm um, making sure whatever I offer them is has a lot of nutrient nutrient value. Um, instead of light iceberg lettuce or something like that, I use uh, spinach. Um, and then I'm trying to give them uh, trying to give them um, fruits. Uh, they're doing cute today. And I was just thinking you know, they need citrus. You can still get scurvy. Right? Uh, if you don't have citrus, you know? Uh, and then also, this time I'm including a multivitamin. So a week's worth of multivitamin. And, yeah. So hopefully they'll, they'll take the multivitamin. Okay, sometimes we get them at the wiener schnitzel here. And you know what, since it's overcast, I bet it's not going to be as blown out to video quality. Alright, let's see. Wiener schnitzel. Nice. Boom. We have a guy at the freeway ramp. That guy's a lot of food already.
also a, a multivitamin in there. You take one a day, all right? And all it's right. like good for, you know, minerals and stuff like that you guys aren't getting out here, all right? Oh, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Great day. putting a band-aid on like a lacerated carotid artery and you're trying to put the band in the, the stream is like hitting the you can't even like excuse me you hungry How you doing? so far. Hopefully they take the multivitamin. I guess that makes sense. If, if I'm noticing groups of them, everybody else is noticing groups of them coalescing in various spots, which means the police are going to notice, which, and then somebody's probably going to complain. So the fact that I saw these groups to start with, everybody else probably saw them too. That's probably why they're being cleared out. Speaking of, I have seen clumps of them here, but I haven't in a while. Like the last two times that I haven't seen them.
three again. How you doing? You rollerblade? That's awesome. doesn't like the food, like tosses it out or something, I think I might be a little offended. Yeah, but that's stupid. You have to be able to give independent of to be good students right? and uh, I remember being very frustrated at first because I would teach them all these martial arts principles and then I wouldn't see them implement them and it was getting very discouraging and I was trying to figure out a way to, to do what I want to do which is to help people help the kids but without that I'm not, first of all, I'd be, I'd be going against, say it's a 10 year old kid, 10 years of however they were raised or have been living, you know, so to change all that in a couple weeks or something, it's like insane. So I just, I became very comfortable and content and fulfilled with the concept of planting seeds. So if I teach a kid, hey, you know, go to school, do your homework, um, go to college, work hard, all these things, right? They may or may not implement those things right away, but say one day they're doing it, they're not, they're not being disciplined, they're, they're not doing what they're supposed to, and then their life, they start to suffer, they start to have the negative impacts of that, the negative consequences. Well then, 
they can reflect back onto the blueprint of how to, you know, get out of that situation to be more disciplined and to, to do what they need to do to succeed. Um, that they'll have that and that they'll have that to reflect on and to maybe make a change at that point. So how that's related to, to this is you have to be able to give and not expect and not have expectations that are um, immediate, right? Obviously, I want these people to be nourished and to be helped, but what if they throw it away? Maybe they'll eat the next one. There you go. Maybe somebody else will eat it for them. I don't know. Excuse me. Are you, are you homeless? No, I'm waiting for a Okay, I was going to offer you food. <laughs> I was going to offer you food if you were. Some of them have cars, that's why. Say what? Oh, let me help you, dude. Let me get you food, yeah? guys asked for Advil.
hope they don't look at this car and think it's a sign of occupants. My Chrysler Crossfire 08. The only reason why I have this is I got laid off, got rid of my Type R. And I got this one for free.
And I was like, really? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, oh. And then the doctor came in and was like, yeah, we need to give you a stitch on your eye and your lip. And I was like, really? She was like, yeah. She was like, you got pretty messed up. And I was like, Everybody else seems to know who does it, though, but I don't Yeah, I don't know. I've always been on the street before. Oh, really? Yeah, I was living in a prison before, and I got kicked out because I couldn't move around off of my job. And they were like, no, it's an owner, and this is girl, and she's like, you gotta go. And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't know where to go. I'm from Tennessee. Like, I have nowhere to go. And she was like, Yeah, I hope you feel better. But I met Kelly. She's really good. And okay. So, let me guys through something else. One of the homeless men. I, I hope I can find his name in the recording. Uh, like, he's brand new to be homeless. He got beat up real bad. But the thing I notice is like their community, which is interesting. Which makes sense, though. It's human nature. But they're um, they look out for each other, and they said that this guy's from Tennessee. He's brand new. He's like a week into being homeless, and he left the group to do something, and then he woke up in the ambulance with the paramedics telling him he got beat up. You can see by his face, he got he got messed up. Um, so, kind of pointed out that everything's been fine until he left the group. And they're confused as to why it happened at all. Because, I guess, it seems as though, even if you're not from the same community, it seems as though homeless person is not going to randomly beat up on another homeless person. So this guy right here on the dark red shirt was asking me about my camera that I had. So it kind of made me a little nervous because, well, he could just be interested in the equipment, but, you know, something of value. Um, you don't want to 
have too many things of value out in the open for somebody desperate to try to take from you. Okay, so I'm done with my run. Run number three, officially three and You know, I messed up the other one. For anybody watching this, um, all this, I ran out of donations last week after the second second run. And this was on, I had one person donate directly to me, not through the GoFundMe. Um, that's which made this run possible. But if you guys could help out, it'd be great. Um, I am currently unemployed. Um, I'm on unemployment and I'm um, doing little side jobs here and there. But I'm not in a, posi a financial position to take, take this on every week by myself. So if you guys could help out, that'd be great. Um, if you cannot help out, I totally understand, um, like I can't help out financially. If you could pass on my GoFundMe, um, and that'd be great, okay? And with the GoFundMe, I'm trying to be extremely transparent. I have a Google Sheet showing all of my transactions of expenses and donations and stuff like that. Um, I have it in, like in a, on a sheet that calculates everything, tells you all those uh, data points as well as what's left over in the budget. I also have a YouTube channel um, that shows all of my runs including when I make the sandwiches and then showing me giving people the food. doing Basically doing what I claim I'm doing or that I'm gonna do with the GoFundMe money that's your that you donate um, just so I can make sure that um, everybody knows what's going on and you feel you feel comfortable and good about giving. All right, I had a lot of fun. It's dark. It's really dark. It feels really good to help out. It also feels like I'm not doing anything. Like I'm really not helping. I'm gonna ignore that and keep trying, and then see where I can help for real. All right, thanks. Okay, so. Uh, we added some multivitamins to their meals for this morning. And then we have the standard, uh, in this case, ham sandwiches. And this is the process I just like to show um, as proof sandwiches are being made and distributed. Oh, also too, um, I always try to put a nutrient rich ingredients such as spinach instead of like lettuce or something like that and then try to include uh, fruits as well.